Hello all, I am Cujo0621. And I am Super BWD. Today I'm gonna be we're gonna be doing something uh well that's new to me and not so new to you when I take it. Yeah. Alright, well anyway, um obviously the name of this video is Rising Downfall Interview slash commentary. It's a uh, it's a story that Super BWB wrote and uh sent to me via email. Well, he sent the first six chapters, and I, uh, I read most of them. Actually, I pretty much didn't read it all. Uh, so basically how this is going to work is I'm going to basically interview him. And I'm going to say basically a lot more than I probably should. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, so let's get started. Um, first I gotta ask, where... Where did the idea of, of Rising Downfall come from? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to, going to say this. Uh, it all came from a website known as DeviantArt, where, where I've been able to post all of my art on there. And I felt that the school wasn't big enough for me to broadcast and show off my art. So I thought I turned to DeviantArt. And <clears throat> well, that's pretty much how how e how everything went. And my any ideas sort of sort of came to me as I continued writing. <laughs> okay. Um. Now the story's about okay. It's about a kid that's born and has the ability to turn into a dragon. Yes. But later on, becomes a wolf. Yes. And in between all this, his parents die. Um, there's a big fight between like two villages, and uh, he goes to jail and meets some uh, some jailmates that break him out. Kind of like in Call of Duty. Yes. Okay, um, I, I'm I'm obligated to ask. <laughs> Were you on drugs when you wrote this? Why is everything gotta be drugs too? You asked me that in my um and our game this that's video. Like, Were you on drugs or something? I I, I did. I am not I on drugs. And stop saying that because I'm black. Because I'm black doesn't mean I do drugs. I stop. didn't it's not no, it's you're, you're applying it so next it has question. nothing to do with Next the, question. Whatever. Um okay. So where do do the characters are they real people? No. Are they fictional people? Like did they, did, were they inspired by people? I guess it's totally fictional. Okay, so all the characters are made up. Everything about it is yes. completely false. Okay, all right. <clears throat> where did the title come from? Rising Downfall. Did that just pop into your head, or did it kind of it kind of did? Okay. Okay. I try to try to make a title for a spy, but how the story flows. Uh, it can be it can end in a good way, it can end in a bad way. It all depends. Okay. Um. Now, the logo. We're we're looking at the logo <laughs> right now. Um. Yes. Okay, is was that did you completely create that by yourself? Was that inspired by anything? Or did, did that just come up? That looks really sweet. It's really awesome, I like it. I like the sword, the little blue orb and the wolf and the dragon. I mean, everything's blended together so perfect. And I'm a, I mean as a graphic designer, that's the first thing I notice is how things are blended together. Yeah. And it looks really good. Well, you would know you're a, you're a graphic designer as well. Yeah, we both so. taken the same class back in high school, so. Yeah, pretty much. So I mean, did, did that logo did that just pop into your head, or did you uh, take some time with that? Both. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, all right. Well, uh, that's that's pretty much all I have to all I have to ask. So I guess I'll just give my opinion about it. And if you are judging from my question, I was a bit lost when I read this. Like, I, it seemed like it was a hundred different things were happening, and it was very scatterish. But I 
did thoroughly enjoy it. I thought it was a very well, I thought it was pretty well put together for something so scattered. Um, and, uh, I love dragons. I love wolves. So, you know, I, I couldn't help it. It's, it was pretty awesome. Um, <coughs> um, the characters are very relatable too. like, uh, the main character's name's Gil. Yes. Yeah, Gil, which is a uh, odd name, but uh, <laughs> you know, in this kind of world, you can you can have anything as a name. But uh, yeah, Gil is a very relatable character. I I feel like he starts off as <coughs> like a little. He's terribly distracted. Like right I, now. I I I want to. Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> like on my phone right now, but anyway. Um Yeah, take your time. Fuck it. Here, hold up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, back to what I was saying. Um Okay, Gil it's it seems he seems like a very quiet character at first. He seems like a very like he's brought into this world. His dad's trying to teach him a lot of things, and he looks up to his brothers, his sisters, and and then everything goes wrong. You know, his dad gets killed in the war. Yeah. Yeah. Um, his mother died a little before his father did, so it's a story of tragedy. And it seems like after he gets out of jail, he's like a he's like a badass. He uh you know, he's kind of one of them, you know, I've seen it all fuck you, kind of, well, <laughs> you know, I mean, he, he, he's he got feelings, but he's not afraid to hold back anything, and, and that's, to me, it's a very, it's a very, you know, awesome way to, to tell a story, you know, because a lot of stories start with, with, you know, like, you know, uh, yeah, some, some would say that he's, like, you know, yeah, that's the other thing. He's, he's a little kid. He's not, he's not that old. Even if he had a chapter 6, he's what? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that's another thing I forgot to point out. He has the ability to speak as a child, so he's like a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so, uh, alright, well, 
My final thoughts on Rising Downfall, I, uh, yes, it's about 10 minutes now. Um, I'm pretty sure you have Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do that. I I to well, um, <clears throat> my final thoughts, I like the direction it's going in, I think it makes for a great story. Yeah, it took, obviously it took a lot of imagination, I know you have that, you know, the other videos we've done together. <laughs> well, you'll get that with a crap, crap for imagination, but anyhow, I like the story, I like what direction it's going in, it's a pretty good story, and, uh, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say. Uh, I'm good. This is all I have to say. This is my final thought. Uh. Fuck you. No thank. I'm not even gonna say that again. I told you I don't know how many times. Next time I'm just gonna hit Shut you upside up. the head. All right, all right. Well, I'm Kujo zero six two four one. I'm Super BWB the fuckhead. Yeah. And we are.